Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question maximum subsequence score. So you are given two zero index integer arrays, uh, nums one and nums two of equal length n and a positive integer k. You must choose a subsequence of indices from nums one of length k. For choosing indices, your score is defined as the sum of the selected elements from nums one multiplied with the minimum of, of the selected elements from nums two. So we have to return the maximum possible score. So let's see the example. So you are given one. So for nums one, one, three, three, two. For nums two, and two, one, three, four, and k equals three. So that means we have to choose uh, three numbers from nums one and nums two. And uh, so for example, if we choose um, index zero, one, two. So in that case, we have to choose also like a uh, index zero, one, two. So um, so description says some of the selected elements from nums one. So that means in this case one plus three plus three total seven, and then multiply with the minimum of the selected elements from nums two. So we have to take minimum numbers from uh, index zero to index two. So that means index one. So index one has a one. So that is a minimum number. So that's why in this case seven multiply one. So total score is uh, seven so yeah we repeated the same um, process and uh, if we choose indices uh, so index zero two three and uh, take a um, two in as a minimum number in that case total score is 12 so that is a maximum score in this case so that's why we should return 12. before i start my explanation so let me introduce my channel so i create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews I explain all the details of all questions in the video and you can get the code from github for free so please subscribe my channel hit the like button or leave a comment thank you for your support okay so let me explain with this example so one numbers one is 1332 number two and 2134 and k equals three so exact same as uh, example one and to solve this question first of all uh, we should sort these two input arrays with descending order of numbers 2. So numbers 2 should be 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, we have to keep a um, pair of numbers 1 and numbers 2. So now numbers 2 index 0 is 4. So that means this 2 e comes to um, index 0. And uh, 3, so numbers 1 also 3. So index 1 should be 3. And uh, 2 and 1, so 1 and uh, 1 and 1 and 3. So 3 is the last number in numbers one and then um, after that um, we uh, create a um, heap and uh, use a total number so initialized with zero and uh, also result variable initialized with zero so i'll explain how to use heap later and then um, we after that, we iterate through uh, both input array at the same time from index 0. So let's begin. Now index 0, so nums 1 is 2, nums 2 is 4. So first of all, uh, I put uh, nums 1 number to heap. So nums uh, heap has 2. And also add nums 1 number to total. So total number is now 2. And then um, check two, con uh, two conditions. So one is if heap has um, like a more than three numbers um, in this case so heap has only one number so we don't do anything and so i'll explain um, after uh, so if heap has more than like a four number but uh, let me skip now and then um, another condition is if um, heap has three number so which is uh, equal to k um, so in this case um, we have only one number so we don't do anything so i'll explain uh, later if a heap has uh, three numbers so then uh, move next so now nums one is three and num two also three so same thing add nums one number to heap and uh, also add three to total now five and uh, yeah, um, 
uh, we don't meet uh, both conditions like a uh, heap heap has a uh, heap has a uh, like a more than uh, four number or a uh, heap has three numbers so now heap has two numbers so we don't do anything and then move next so numbers one is one numbers two is two so same thing uh, put numbers one number to heap one and then uh, add plus one to total and six so now um, we meet uh, one of the conditions so now k uh, no now heap has three numbers which is equal to k so in that case uh, we should um, check maximum number so in this case uh, so to uh, result is now zero and the total is now six and then so now numbers num numbers two number is two so that means so now uh, we have a um, like a total six and uh, six is constitute consists of like a two and a three and a one right so now we have to um, choose minimum number from index zero to two right so because uh, um, so we if we uh, take uh, this two uh, so we have to take uh, this four and the uh, same thing if we take uh, this three we have to um, take a uh, this three and a uh, two also so and uh, now uh, so total is six so but uh, because of um, uh, sort with uh, descending order of numbers two so current numbers two is a minimum number of uh, like uh, these three numbers right because uh, this is a descending order so definitely this is a minimum number right in the three numbers so that means um, so total is now six so multiply minimum number of two which is two so that means um, six multiply two so total 12 and I compare 0 versus 12 so 12 is greater than 0 so now current result variable should be 12 right and then um, next so numbers 1 is 3 numbers 2 is 1 so yeah we do the same thing so add 3 to heap so now heap has four number and then also add three to total so nine so in this case uh, we meet the uh, uh, first condition so now heap has four number which is a uh, greater than k in that case um, we have to pop um, one of numbers in heap because now heap has four, but uh, we need uh, three numbers. So the, uh, the reason why I use heap to keep the numbers is that, so in Python, heap is a min heap. So that means if we just uh, heap pop from heap, so minimum number uh, will be popped. So that's why uh, we keep the like a uh, maximum total number, right? So if so if we take uh, this three total number should be two one three and total six right but if we pop this one so total number should be eight so eight is greater than six right so that's why um we need to uh pop the minimum number of heap minimum number in the heap so and then in python um usually uh heap is a mean heap so root node is a minimum number so just a uh, heap pop so one and then also um, if we pop one so we have to add minus one to total right so that means eight so two plus three plus three is eight right and then in this case um, now um, we pop uh, so this one so that's why we can't use this one but uh, so now four or three or one 
So, but uh, uh, yeah, as I explained earlier, so we sorted nums too with ascending order, uh, no, descending order. So that's why, so this one is a definitely minimum number of uh, three numbers, right? Because uh, this is a descending order. So that's why uh, we use a current nums two number. So eight multiply one. And then compare 12 versus 8. So 12 is greater than 8. So we don't update the result variable. And then move next. But there is no numbers here. So we stop iteration. And then that's why in this case we should return 12. So let me summarize my explanation. So we sorted both input array with descending order of numbers 2 because uh, it's easy to find the minimum number in numbers 2. So current number always minimum number. So that's easy to find. And uh, we use heap to keep um, maximum total and uh, easily pop minimum number when uh, heap has uh, more than number of k, uh, in this case, 4. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, create a, like a pairs and uh, sort it and uh, we use a zip function to take uh, um, values um, from nums1 and nums2 at the same time so nums1 and nums2 and uh, we use a lambda and uh, let's say p and uh, two uh, sort with descending order uh, we, so we put the minus and the p and uh, we want to sort num, uh, with the nums2 so that's why I put 1 here so 0 is the nums1 and 1 is the nums2 because of this uh, order and then total equals result initialized with 0 and uh, heap initialize with list and uh, start uh, looping for pair in pairs so first of all um, nums1 and nums2 and uh, pair so I think uh, it's easy to understand and then first of all um, put nums1 to heap so heap2 dot heap push and uh, heap and nums1 and then add nums1 to total so plus equal one uh, plus equal nums1 and then as I explained earlier there are two conditions if length of heap is greater than k in the case of um, uh, total minus equal so in this case, we have to pop the minimum number from heap. So also, uh, we have to uh, subtract a minimum number from total. So that's why heap q dot heap pop and the heap. So pop minimum number from heap and also subtract minimum number from total. And then if length of heap equal k, and then in the case compare max current result versus total multiply, as I explained earlier, current nums2 is a minimum number because uh, nums2 is uh, sorted with descending order. So that's why um, multiply nums2. After that, just return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n log n um, because we sorted nums1 and nums2 at the same time. So this is the biggest uh, time complexity, n log n. So that's why. And the space complexity is order of k. So where k is a value of input parameter k. So because um, uh, at most, uh, k number is kept in heap right so here we execute heap push 
So that's why space complexity is order of k. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.